accipite et manducate ex hoc omnes. Hoc est enim corpus meum, quod provobis tradetur. I like to think of Latin as a living language in the church. About a year and a half ago, a friend of mine and myself here at the North American College, we decided to kind of step up our Latin studies. And so we had this idea to maybe use Latin over breakfast. got to figure out the Latin there and it's actually that is, that is a story this, this is not an easy thing to actually twist about and to put into really great good English we're most concerned about the Latin this year we celebrate the anniversary of a very important document entitled Vetrum Sapientia it's a document that was prepared by Pope John the 23rd to emphasize the importance of the Latin language for connecting us with the past now for a whole slew of complex reasons, the document fell uh, stillborn from the press. It was a difficult time in the church and the world. A lot of changes going on. The call was not taken up by people to really keep this language alive. And unfortunately, we never lost it completely, but we lost quite a bit. So the importance of it today, while we were reading it today, these are students who are interested in understanding what Pope John said back then and doing everything they can to actually take up that call even today. The Latin that we read in the final documents of Vatican II is some of the most beautiful that was written not only in the 20th century, but ever. And this was a language that united bishops from countries and places throughout the world where they could speak a common language. They would stand up, give their thoughts about their local church in a universal language that all those bishops understood. Being able to communicate with the church from the first century today and being able to communicate with the church if we're still around 2,000 years from now is the whole reason why we use Latin. <laughs> 